Oh, yes. When, when the Supreme Court decided Pet Sweat versus Painter, that's a, that was a Texas law school case. Uh, see, Painter. Uh, Sweat had, had filed, because he had applied for, for admission to law school. Well, they, they wouldn't let him in, in, in regular uh, Texas law school, but they uh, put it over from one front, storefront law school. And one teacher, and a few books, and called that a law school. And uh, so we filed, uh, I mean, that way, and we all, in the NWCB filed a suit. And uh, the case went to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, we, we, we had worked on a brief, setting out all the things that were, would constitute a first class law school that was available at, at the Texas. Texas, University of Texas Law School, and and uh, Judge Vincent went right down the line of our brief. So we figured now we got Vincent on our side and he understands what the problem is. Now it's time for us to go ahead and file challenges for segregation per se. And uh, that's what we did. And uh, so, but, but the first case was uh, Bree versus uh, Elliot, uh, down in Columbia South, South, I mean, not necessarily Columbia, down in South Carolina, Clarendon County, South Carolina. Uh, and that case went up. I mean, Judge, I mean, the suit, Thurgood filed the suit, I mean, we were all uh, spotting out. We're, 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 Counsel in the case, and uh, and uh, Robert Twara and, and a guy named Bullock uh, from down South Columbia, South Carolina, and uh, we were in the fire suit. Judge Judge uh, Warren recognized the fact that they were charged, they were they were testing the constitutionality of the of state law, and he convened. A three judge court. And uh, anyway, the three judge court ruled two, two to one that uh, no violation of law. Uh, and uh, so that case was appealed to the Supreme Court. It was the first case up there. I, uh, when these kids went on strike, that was the only case, uh, that case was going up to the Supreme Court. Th these were the kids in the Prince Edward yeah. County. In Prince school. Edward County. Yes. Bob, Barbara John, under the leadership of a very precocious little girl named Bob, Barbara Johns, who was the niece of a fiery Baptist minister named <laughs> Vernon Johns. Oh, yes. Another legend. Yeah. Yes. And and uh, so uh, when, they, when they went on strike, they, I mean, Martin and I were in, in our law library that evening. When the phone rang, uh, preparing a motion for further relief in a case known as Corbin versus Pulaski. It was a, a separate but equal case well, because they had uh, uh, all the key, all the children up in that section of, of uh, up around VPI, uh, that section of Virginia, where Paul Hall from Pulaski, about 50 or 75 miles, uh, through Radford. And and oh, 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 Montgomery County and Christianburg. They had formerly been a little private school over there. They named Long, who came with, left there and went, went to Howard. Very, very fine, very fine man. And anyway, and so we, we had, we, they had, we had had a trial and they hadn't done what they're supposed to do. We carried a case to Fourth Circuit and they, they, uh, they had four circuit rule with us, and and so we we, we filed a motion for further relief, and uh, <clears throat> so the phone rang. I happened to be the nearest one to the phone, and I picked it up and I heard Barbara Johns tell me what they been out on the strike and what they did and all that, and they wanted us to represent them. I said, Well, we know what you what you all do. We have already filed one suit challenging segregation. We don't need but one to prove the point. And 
uh, y'all going back to school now. And, and this was in a rural area too, wasn't it? Prince oh, Edward, yeah. yes. Yeah, well, and uh, so, but she pleaded so hard. So I said, well, listen, we, we be coming through for Farmville on our way to Christiansburg on Wednesday. We'll leave a little early and meet you in Reverend Griffin's, in Reverend Griffin's, uh, of course, we were familiar with the situation, because uh, I had been down there several times to, to talk to the school board. They were, they were still claiming they're trying to get money to build another school. See, that school, when it opened up in 1939, it was overcrowded the day it opened. So we how much planning went into it. Of course. And, and, uh, uh, and they, they had put up these tar, tar shacks and, and run pipes running from one school to another and, and a big oil drum to provide heat. And then when it was raining or in clement weather, uh, kids were going to be one builder and then they would but not going to these other classes in these other buildings. It was a, a health hazard. Yes. So anyway, uh, so that, that uh, on our way up there, we still made up our mind that we were going to tell the kids to go back to school. But when we got there, they were sitting up in the, in the school, Sunday school room of Reverend Griffin's church, and it was so orderly and had such high room, 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 uh, morale that, uh, moral morale. But anyway, uh, and we had it hard to, 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 to tell them to say no, so I told them, I said, if your parents will back you, you know, we're not firing any more separate but equal. If your parents will back you, we'll fire the suit, and we'll be on your behalf. And we now we, we're going up to to uh, Christiansburg today, and we'll be up at the night, and we'll be coming back here through here tomorrow night, and you can meet us here with your parents. So that, that's what they did, and the parents, but then the parents willing, was willing to go back to children. But somebody said, well, this, look, this is a county affair. Look, we ought to take this up with the whole county. So uh, we, this was Thursday night, this week, or one week. We just had a meeting for Friday night of the following week. And we, we, we got, spot and I got over Friday night. It, we had the meeting in, in the church proper, and the place was packed. People standing around, even with all the eyes and everything. So you knew they were serious. Yeah. Yes. So, so we, it was only very, very little opposition. The main opposition was from the principal of Cumberland County High School, who lived in Prince Edward County. And he, he, we, we, we understood his problem. <laughs> if, he, if he'd been for it, they, they would have uh, fired him in, in Cumberland County. But anyway, they, so they, they county voted to back the suit, and uh, so we filed a petition, and that was denied. And saying that they talked about they had, they, they were gonna get money in two years from the, from the state and a whole lot of crap. Anyway, we don't file the suit. And uh, meantime, they tried the day that they trial down in South Carolina. I, Something happened and I couldn't, I couldn't go over the spot went down. And uh, they, as I say, they appealed to the Supreme Court. All right. You're talking about Spotswood Robinson? Spotswood Robinson. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, they, they uh, but some, I forgot now what the technicality was, some technicality, and they sent the case back to, to uh, South Carolina for something. And clarify, clarify, clarify. And meantime, all the rest of the case, our case, the Delaware case, Kansas case, all went up to the Supreme Court, and the District of Columbia case all got to the Supreme Court. <coughs> By the time the South Carolina case got right back up back, all five of the cases went back. I mean, the other four cases went back. And, uh, and uh, either, uh, I, I suspect, and the problem was, well, well, we consolidated them, didn't realize that I came before O. <laughs> and uh, so they, they had Brown uh, rather than Briggs. That's what it should have been. Yes. And, and uh, on top of that, just like we, 
we should have our kids we named Davis because we, 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 we put them both kids in alphabetically and we should have kids should have been styled Barbara Johns because yes. she, she was a more motivating force there. Anyway, uh, so all of those cases were yeah. consolidated. All yeah. consolidated at Taylor Brown. And the three cases, the, the, the Kansas case, the, Ted, the Virginia case, and the Scranton County, South Carolina case, were all similar in that it was three cases where the plaintiffs were applying, asking that the Plessy versus Ferguson be overruled. Uh, the Delaware case, I forgot. Uh, had, the judge had overruled uh, Pleasant, and the, the school board was filed, was was, was uh, appealing. So it was it was a reverse situation in the Delaware case, where, where Greensburg and and, and uh, Reading were attorneys, and in uh, in uh, uh, District of Columbia case, uh, District of Columbia was not a state, so the Fourteenth Amendment didn't apply to to, to District of Columbia. They filed on due process. 